Hi everyone, myself Gurubir Balan, working as assistant professor in Department of Engineering, Sivendeshwara College of Engineering. In this video lecture, we will see on the topic on types of open channel flow. An open channel flow is defined as the passage through which the water flows under atmospheric pressure. Examples of open channel flow are flow in natural channels like rivers, streams, flow in drainage sewers, flow in irrigation canals, flow in stormwater drainage system, etc. A lot of examples we can quote for an open channel flow. Let me move on to the topic on types of open channel. So the first type is based on cross section. Based on cross section, the open channel flow is classified as natural channels and artificial channels. In natural channels, the cross section will be varying from one place to another. In this picture itself, we can see that the width of the river is high at this point whereas the width of the river is very small at this point. So the cross section is varying across the space, spatial direction. Whereas in artificial channels that is man-made channels, the cross section remains constant across the section. The next type of open channel flow is based on ship. Based on ship, it is classified as rectangular, trapezoidal, triangular, and circular shape. Let me see some examples related to these shapes. Rectangular shape, it can be of a closed end rectangular shape or it can be of open ended rectangular shape. So, these shape of channels we can able to see it for the Strong water drainage systems. Next shape is trapezoidal. Irrigation channels commonly used shape is trapezoidal shape only in India. And for circular shape, we can say the example is drain uh, wastewater drainage system sewer sewer pipes. Based on boundary, open channel flow is classified as rigid boundaries and mobile boundaries. In rigid boundaries, the shape of the channel remains constant over a period of time. We can see this constant shape in lined canals in man-made channels. It has only one degree of freedom that is the depth of flow of water will be changing. Whereas in mobile boundaries, we can say it as example for us unlined canals in natural channels. Here the shape of the channel will be keep on changing over a period of time based on the deposition and erosion of the silt particles. So based on this, the depth of the channel, width of the channel, longitudinal slope and planiform will be changing. Based on food number, the open channel flow is classified as critical flow, subcritical flow, and supercritical flow. Fluid number can be expressed as FR is equal to V divided by root of GD, whereas G is the velocity of flow of water in an open channel flow, G is the acceleration due to gravity, and D is the hydraulic mean depth. So, using this formula, we can able to calculate the fluid number value. And based on this condition, by comparing the values with code number, we can able to classify the type of flow as critical, subcritical, and supercritical. For critical flow, when the fluid number is equal to 1, for subcritical flow, when the fluid number is less than 1, and supercritical flow, when the fluid number is greater than 1. So, these are the types of open channel flow occurring in a channel. Thank you.